Hello everyone, I am Hao Liang Tan from Harbin Institute of Technology, Shenzhen. Today, I am going to present our paper, Exploring the Potential of Bus Delta Encoding, Matching to a Higher Compression Ratio. This is the outline of our presentation. First, let me introduce about data compression. With the development of the internet, the amount of data in storage systems at all levels is growing explosively. Therefore, efficient storage of a huge volume of digital data becomes a big challenge nowadays. There are many application scenarios for data compression, such as network transmission, large-scale storage backup system, database management system, Why do we focus on delta compression? The reasons are as follows. In general, there are mainly three technology roadmaps for lossless data reduction, including general compression, delta compression, and data deduplication. First, general compression, such as gzip, compress data in a small region. Because of this limitation of general compression in large-scale storage system. Data deduplication is proposed. Data deduplication can be applied in large-scale system, but it can only reduce duplicate file or data chunk. So, to bridge the gap in compression ratio between data deduplication and general compression, data compression is proposed. Next, I will introduce the difference of the free compression technologies in detail. General compression is designed for reducing redundancy data at the byte or string level in a small region based on classical algorithms such as half-mind coding, dictionary coding. It cannot find out data redundancies which are far away from each other. Data deduplication, eliminating redundancy at the trunk level can accelerate the processing speed up to GB per second level, so it is practical in large-scale storage system. But data deduplication can only reduce duplicate file or data trunk Data compression observes the high data similarity between similar files or chunks. Generally, data compression consists of two key stages, resemblance detection and delta encoding. Resemblance detection refers to the process of generating features and then searching similar chunks according to their features which has been studied in many work. Delta encoding refers to the process of calculating the delta among the similar chunks or files. For delta encoding, this figure shows a general example of S delta on two similar chunks, namely input chunk A and its similar chunk B. X delta first scans two chunks to generate several overlapped words using a rolling hash called Adela32, and then finds the duplicate words by indexing the Adela32 hash of the words. Therefore, X delta uses the words in the base chunk B as dictionary and index the words of chunk A in the dictionary to identify redundancy. Then, the match words will be encoded as copy, and the new words are encoded as insert instructions. Finally, the input chunk is compressed into a smaller data chunk with copy and insert instructions for space saving. With the delta chunk and the base chunk B, X delta can easily restore the input chunk A according to the copy and insert instructions. 
There are also many other delta encoding schemes that are different from X delta. We summarized four state-of-art data encoding approaches, including X delta, Z delta, G delta, and E delta, with their features as shown in the table. Generally, to maximize the duplicate word matching, X delta and Z delta use fixed size chunking to generate fixed size and overlapped words for matching, and also detect the duplicate words inside the input chunk. On the other hand, D delta and E delta use content defined chunking CDC to generate the variable size and independent words for simplifying matching, which results in high encoding speed. Moreover, Z delta use a hash table to detect the best match words and employs entropy encoding to further compress the rest after word matching, thus achieving the highest compression ratio. In our paper, we focus on deciding a high-speed delta encoding approach called G delta with a high compression ratio. As mentioned before, existing delta encoding approaches target either delta compression ratio such as X delta and Z delta or delta encoding speed such as D delta and E delta. The figure shows the delta compression performance of the four state-of-art approaches from six real-world datasets. Their characteristics will be detailed later. The results suggest that D delta and E delta represent the high speed delta compression approaches but a low compression ratio, while X delta and Z delta represent the classic delta compression approaches that focus on the compression ratio. For D delta and E delta, we find the decreased compression ratio is due to their coarse grained word matching techniques. When we look back at X delta and Z delta, their high compression ratio and the slow speed are from their fine grained word matching techniques, which provide two important observations for us as discussed later. The first observation is the volume hardship bottleneck. We find that X delta use a time-consuming rolling hash called Adler 42, which occupies quite a few CPU time according to our experimental studies by analyst to Perth. Here, the rolling hash is used as the sliding, sliding window technique that moves on the similar trunks byte by byte to generate words for maximizing the duplicative word matching in X delta. The second observation is the further compression opportunity. We observed that Z delta achieves the highest compression ratio among the existing delta compression approaches. This is because Z delta uses a much smaller sliding window size of 3 bytes to detect the fine-grained redundancy for delta calculation among similar chunks, and then employs half-man coding technique to further compress the remaining unmatched words to increase the compression ratio. Therefore, according to our observation, we present our motivation of this paper. First, inspired by our Previous work, fast DDC and D delta, that employs a fast rolling hash called gear to greatly improve the content defined chunking speed for data du duplication. Second, the recently proposed fast compression tools such as JSCD and FSD encoding provide chance to improve the compression ratio without sacrificing the performance. 
The overview of G-delta encoding method is shown as follows. First, imports and improve gear volume hash for generating overlap words. Second, applies a fast area-based indexing scheme for word matching. Third, compact encoding instruction to record the delta chunk. At last, further compress the rest using ZFTD and FSE to improve the compression ratio. Next, we will introduce the following technique and experimental evaluations in detail. We introduced gear rolling hash to replace Adler 42 hash. We employed an area gear of 256 random 64 bit integers to map the values of the byte contained in the sliding window. And the addition operation adds the new byte into gear hash, while the left sheet helps strip away the first byte of the sliding window. Gear rows on the content using only three operations each byte. Addition, left sheet and, and lookup enabling it to move quickly through the data content for rolling hash function. Bottom right table also shows the detailed implementation of Adler 42 for comparison, which suggests gear used much less calculation operations than Adler 42, thus being a good rolling hash candidate for G-Delta. After generating overlapped words for by gear, G-Delta used a simple area-based indexing scheme to look up the duplicated words according to their gear hash. Take 16 byte words as an example to illustrate our indexing scheme in this figure. After running gear hash, and we get a 64 bit fingerprint for each word. Then, the 16 most significant bits of FP are calculated from all the 16 bytes in the sliding window, while the 16 least significant bits are just calculated from the latest 4 bytes in the sliding window. Therefore, we use the most significant bits of fingerprint as the index of hash area by the right shift operation, which can effectively reduce the hash collection. Then, as other delta encoding method, G-Delta use compacted copy and insert instruction to record the duplicated word and non-duplicate words of the input chunk. And for G-Delta decoding, the input chunk can be easily restored according to the copy and insert instructions. To further improve the compression ratio, G-Delta compress the section of copy and insert instruction at the bit level using FSE and compress the data part using ZCD. And finally, we put several data chunks all together in a container to maximize the compression ratio. Next, we will introduce a bio performance evaluation. These are the related inform. The data sets used in the evaluation are generated from six real-world world look in various use cases, as shown in the table. Four of these data sets, TAR, Linux, Web, and VMA, are publicly available. Here is the results of the compression performance of G-Delta using gear rolling hash compared with Adela 42 rolling hash. From the figure, we can get the result that for compression ratio, the two hash approach achieves nearly the same compression ratio. 
Wikipedia achieves higher mm -hmm. data encoding speed over at the 32. Right bottom table also suggests that under different file size, the hard speed of gear which about 3.5 times faster than at the 32. For the collision vessel issue, we can observe that Gear and Adela 32 have almost identical hard collision ratios. And then is the result of the compression performance of G Delta using every base indexing compared with hard table indexing. The result shows that comparing with hard table, simple every base indexing scheme achieves a comparable compression ratio and a fast looking hard speed. Here is the results of the compression performance of G Delta using container based further compression. The result shows that for the compression ratio, container based further compression technique improves the compression ratio by 10% to 90%. For the delta encoding speed, container based further compression technique not only does not increase the time overhead, but also achieves about 20 percent higher encoding speed than other configuration. Finally, is the overall performance of G-Delta. In our experiment, G-Delta always detect more redundancy than Z-Delta. Meanwhile, as shown in the figure B and C, G-Delta achieves a much higher encoding and decoding speed. Here is the conclusion and future work. In this paper, we propose a novel delta encoding method called G-Delta, which is aimed at exploring the potential of fast delta encoding approach for matching to a high compression ratio. Our evaluation results shows that G-Delta speeds up to the delta encoding and decoding by two times to four times faster over the classic X delta and Z delta while increasing the compression ratio. In our future work, we plan to improve the container-based batch compression technique in G delta to support local decompression and further study the trade-off between delta encoding speed and compression ratio in G delta. That's our all presentation. Thanks for your listening.